What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp and today I'm going to be doing a review on my $350 AR-15. And I'm also going to be telling you guys how you too can get an AR-15 for under $400, $350 give or take. So should be a good little video. Let's get right into it. Like I said before the intro rolled, we're going to be doing a review on my AR-15 here that has cost me under $350. Um, it's a hodgepodge of different types of bolts and barrels and lowers and whatnot, but it did run me under $350 with very little actual assembly. Okay, so if you're sitting at home and you're like, I don't know how to put together an AR-15. This is like the most basic stuff. And there's videos all over the internet for you to do so, okay? And this is not one specific brand by any means. This is a Frankenstein build, but it was super simple to do. So I really recommend you sticking with me to figure out really how I got here and kind of if it's the right move for you. But I'm also going to tell you about how this one performs, so keep that in mind. So, without further ado, let's talk about what's on this and where I got it from. Upper. Probably the most important part is a Radical Firearms Upper. This was an insane deal I found on Primary Arms for $120. Okay, I shouted it out on my Instagram and some people took advantage of it. I mean, I've never seen an upper receiver for $120. Bucks. It's crazy. I messaged Radical Firearms and I was like, is this, is this like the real deal? And they're like, I don't even know how Primary Arms is selling it for that. So, really great deal. Shouted it out on my Instagram. Some of you guys took advantage of it. And um, I really recommend you follow me because I do that all the time. Um, work with a ton of different brands. Whenever they have sales, I usually post it up so you guys can see. So, follow me there. You might find, it might be worth your time. Okay? So, Radical Firearms Upper. Then we have a Palmetto State Armory Bolt Carrier Group. This was a $80 bolt carrier group on PSA. Um, PSA has some pretty good stuff. I have a few of their rifles, used a bunch of their bolts, um, parts kits, what's not. Um, Anderson charging handle, stupid cheap. It's like eight bucks. Primary Arms has them on sale all the time. Um, right now they have the Save 12 sale, so I think they're $8. And then primary arms takes 12% off that, so even even cheaper. Okay. And then we have a PSA lower. Now, this can be a whole plethora of different things. I've bought their blim lowers, I've bought their brand new lowers, or they're all brand new. Um, all there's a thousand different options out there. Um, the cheapest PSA lower you can get right now, I think, is a blim lower for about $120 to $129. Add a $30 FFL transfer on that, puts you at $160, bucks, okay? So, for a completed lower, that's a really, really good deal. Um, I feel like it'll be hard to do that um, otherwise, because lowers are running pretty expensive right now. Um, if you can find them, that is. I know uh, usually Andersons are pretty easy to find. They are running $60, bucks, $65. Um, so, for a hundred and 60 bucks after transfer. It's a pretty good deal. And um, that's that's kind of what I'm basing this one. This one is a PSA lower, but it has um, one of the Mission First Tacticals stock on it. So it's not not necessarily the cheapest one. I think I paid probably 10 or $15 over, so it was $175 after transfer. But overall, super inexpensive rifle. So 120 for the upper, 80 for the bolt, that's 200, charge and handle, let's say five bucks so that's hundred and five dollars two hundred and five dollars and then an additional hundred and fifty hundred and sixty so that's three hundred and sixty bucks for the whole rifle which is a crazy crazy deal and like I said I, I post this stuff on my Instagram all the time and uh, so if you're into building and all, like literally all you have to do is clip them together 
So it's really simple to do and it'll save you a ton of money in the long run. So that's the build list of it and kind of how much it costs and everything. Um, let's talk about how it performed. So Radical Firearms, I've been a big fan of them. They're really great uppers. Um, shoot really well and this one was no exception. This has one of their brakes on it and I like it a lot. It's different. It's not an A2. It's I don't even remember the name of it. It's odd. But I have two of these and they work really well. They handle compensation. It's kind of a comp more so than a brake uh, or a flash hider. And it, it does a very good job. Um, the upper is pretty accurate. Um, I'd say that two to three MOA and for 120 bucks, I don't, I don't know what else you could really ask for. It's an awesome deal. Um, the bolt performed good. No misfeeds, no miss, no jamming up in there. Um, performed very well. Like I said, I've had a ton of experience with the PSA bolts, and you really can't go wrong with them. Um, very, very great, great quality right there. Um, lower is, is basic lower, mil spec lower. Uh, so I didn't have any problems out of that. Gun ran really good. Um, I was shooting a primary arms red dot on it. This is the SLX MD25. If you guys haven't came out on the channel yet, I'm still running through that. Um, and I put a magnifier on it. This is a primary arms magnifier as well. And it, it did great. I mean, if you're looking to buy or build a rifle to do, to do it all, you can definitely do it for inexpensive. If you just shop the right deal and you or patient. Patience is patience is king really when it comes to building on a budget and building on building a good rifle on a budget. So like I said, if you if you wait, um, you stay in I guess kind of the loop. So you can sign up for all kinds of different emails. Whether that be primary arms PSA, uh, if you want like stag or diamondback or whatever it may be, you can sign up for their email list. I know they spam the crap out of you. But sometimes, every once in a while, you get a really good deal and you're like, crap, I can't say no to that. Um, and you can always message me and be like, hey, do you have a coupon code for that company? Or, hey, can you get me like 5% off with something? I, I mean, I might not have it, but you can ask. And you can always ask any influencer. So keep that in mind, too. I Before... Before I really got into this whole scene, I would DM people and I'd be like, hey, do you have a coupon code for this company to save me some money? And then they'd either be like, no, screw you, or they'd help me out. So, DM me. Alright, so, that being said, the rifle shoots like it, like you'd expect a $350 rifle to shoot. It works. Is it the best thing ever built? No, but you're buying a budget rifle. Um, do I trust my life with it? Yeah, I mean it shoots great. I've I've shot two, three hundred rounds through it, and no problems so far. And that's mo mostly crappy steel that you see back there on the shelf. Um, so I mean it's performed better than I thought it would, and uh, I've been very pleased with it. So don't discount discounted stuff, whether that be on sale or whatnot, and be patient when you're building because that's super super important. Um, so I, I think that really does it. I know this was kind of a review slash hybrid on how to do things, but I hope it helped and I hope you got something from it. Also, check out my link trees. They're where I keep my social medias, whether that be TikTok or Instagram or Facebook. Um, follow me there. Stay tuned. I, I do all kinds of deals there. So there's that. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Comment down below what you thought of it. If you think I'm total crap, just tell me. I don't care. I'll see y'all in the next one. As always, take someone outdoors. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.